I'm going to start just with three words. Robot narrow depth of field. It's quite simple, isn't it? But then I'm going to add one more term, which is Unreal Engine. Much better. Hey, how are you guys? In this video, I want to make an experiment. I want to input text prompts and show you the results with Adobe Firefly, the beta version. It will be nothing special. I just need to input some information and see the results. And also show you a little bit more in-depth tutorials about Adobe Firefly because I had some time I was able to work with it. So let's start by generate. I'm going to turn off my screen because it overlaps the prompt. So the first one is mechanical snake wearing goggles and a hat. Bricks and clocks in the backdrop, cinematic, smoke and dust, bulky light rays. These results look really good, at least for me. I want to show you something which caught my attention. Now, at the moment, we don't have special keywords, but if some of the um, movements, themes, techniques, effects here, or uh, cover tone lighting composition terms are the same with the ones in your text prompt, they're going to show up down here as tags, as we usually call them. Something else, if we clip graphic, and then go back to art and then go back to graphic and then we click photo and then we go back to art you can see there is some resemblance in the results for example this one take a look at this one photo art graphic it's almost identical this is something i think you need to give attention while working with adobe firefly and none as well you see just keep your look at this one the left one it's almost the same. So everything depends of the keywords and everything that you write at the text prompt. I'm uh, quite impressed with what I see. What do you say? Maybe not this one, but maybe this one. Still synthetic. I'm saying once again, I'm not a fan of AI generated art. I'm just pushing to see what are the limits, for example, with Adobe Firefly. So don't judge me. The next prompt I'm going to try a line of cut of a river in front of a tall mountain, rocks in the foreground with tall single leaves trees. There's one L here. A forest in the background with mountain obscuring the sky. I'm going to clear the style and click generate. This is good. Now from here, I need to choose art. You can see the results. Now in this particular case, which is going to be line etching, click generate again. This is what I was talking about. These are the results that I wanted to see. Yes, they're not perfect, but so far, in my opinion, the AI generated art is basically working on similarity. A reviewer, I'm going to input one more term, black and white, and click generate. And you see, it automatically goes down as a tag because you have it some more at the styles. And this gives me much more detail and much more exact result. For example, if I want to see something like this. So keep this in mind. Everything that you see on the right, if you input it as a keyword, automatically goes down. We're going to clear the styles now and choose the next prompt. Some of these prompts I have modified from ones that I have seen around the internet. Click generate. We have mouse in a sweatshirt, singing hip hop, holding microphone. Octan render on Rio Engine. Yes, not bad. I'm just going to show you the results of exact prompts that I have prepared previously. Maybe if you click here, no, it's none, but if you click art, this is going to make the difference. You can see the fingers are getting better. The issue with the fingers is getting better. I'm saying once again, this is uh, probably a good base to inspire you or maybe just use some element. This is why I'm testing Adobe Firefly because they say they don't use images from artists, from names in the industry, and this caught my attention. Now, here's another one. I'm going to clear the style and paste a new prompt. Reading young couple sitting on a sofa, big fireplace. Walls covered by bookshelves, cat lying on the floor. Generate. If you clear the style, at most of the cases, it's better to choose art because otherwise, Firefly is not going to know what you want to see as a result. Now, here, here I'm not impressed at all, but maybe if I input additional information, this is going to look much better. But here we have a lot of issues. One of my first prompts that I tried while testing 
and Doc Superhero in the flight at sunrise with Googles and the mantle. Cinematic AK. I'm going to keep art on. I'm going to keep the content art on. And this is what we get as results. This is something else. You can see the terms 3D render, fairy, ultra realistic. Inside the forest, two mushrooms in front. That sunset dream light. This is a prompt that I modified just to see what will be the difference. And if art is selected or a graphic, the results are pretty satisfying. And once again, if you click between graphic and art, you can see there is a resemblance between the compositions. This one is uh, something that I modified from an existing prompt because I liked the results. I still don't know what makes some of the prompts look better than, than others. Actually, it's not this one, but here you can see a lot of detail in the illustration. Maybe if we choose graphic, it will be better. Actually, this is, this is the one that I wanted to show you because this actually gives me pretty good results. Insect robot in a city at night. Exposed cables, neon lights. If I input just one uh, word, neon sign lights, it's getting more realistic, which is the scary thing. Now here is another one. As you know, if you like some of the results, you can generate similar ones or just change a word. Let's say whale. From here, we can change the size, the spec ratio actually. And yeah, let's go on the next one how the results are changing when you add a word. I have a prompt, I'm going to start just with three words. Robot narrow depth of field. It's quite simple, isn't it? But then I'm going to add one more term, which is Unreal Engine. Much better. And then I'm going to add one more term, which is hyper-realistic. All right, and then I'm going to add 8K. Cool, and then with comma add high detail, I'm just experimenting. I don't know what is going to happen. Interesting. And then one more, which is going to be background bokeh. And this is how, by changing one of the terms and the prompt, you can get a result from a good to maybe perfect, like this one. Let's click show similar. I know I'm not supposed to use these kind of characters, but I'm just trying my luck here and let's see what we are going to get with this prompt. Interesting, very, very interesting. Now here we have another one, a cityscape at sunset, high detail, concept art, detail. Click generate. Okay, we don't have content type selected. What if we choose art, we get this. What about if we choose graphic? This is what we get if we click a graphic style and this is what we get if we click a photo. Now again, if I click after all three styles are generated here, here, we have some similarity. Let's try another one with art selected. Maybe here in graphic style, the results are going to be better. It's not so much. Maybe we need to put additional keywords. Another one, let's choose art. I still try to figure out what how this algorithm works. If it's not based on art from artists. Let's choose graphic. Now here we have some issues. What is interesting is that we have some atmosphere. You see? Again, some similarity. Take a look at the background here. It's almost the same. And the photo. You can see by yourselves. There is another one for which I want to have a photo content type. Turned on, pasta carbonara plate on a table inside luxury restaurant, ultra realistic cinematic, AK. Blur background. All of these keywords or terms help the algorithm to interpret your idea. So let's click generate. Some of these images could be used, but people like us are going to see the difference, always not be happy with it. I'm saying once again, I use AI at the moment to do my dirty job. For example, drafts, then make my design based on these drafts. Use some elements like the background. Here is another one. It depends if you have chosen graphic, photo or art. Actually, I think the algorithm is evolving because a couple of days ago I did the same prompt and the results were not so good as the ones that I see now. 
keep this in mind you can see the keywords and the terms that I have put at the text prompt so yeah that's it I just wanted to try the Adobe Firefly text to image and input some previously saved prompts that I took from internet or I thought by myself tell me what do you think in the comments if you like this video you can subscribe and we can keep up what's going on with Adobe Firefly see ya